Welcome back to a special episode of Talk Back, two years after the quake. We're talking to Lieutenant General Nadeem Ahmed, the Deputy Chairman of ERA. General, bad estimation. Estimates were incorrect in the earlier phase because there was thousands of complaints that the you know, that would in any case reconstruction in plans were too much while prices were skyrocketing as far as construction materials were concerned. You yourself have gone on the record and said and admitted that prices were too high. There was a paradox as far as the initial 175, 175,000 rupees were concerned. The paradox was that according to your policy, if indigenous material was used, then the there would be no uh, reception, there would be no compensation for the recipient. If they did use it, then they couldn't afford it. So effectively, there was a paradox. If you, can, if you make it according to our plans, this is what Arrow was saying, if you make it according to our plans, you get 175K, but it's not enough. Even the deputy chairman is admitting so. And if you make it according to materials you can afford, then hey, you don't get 175K. First thing is that we have never said that you use this material or that material. We have different design options. There are design, and I'm talking about housing, the area that you have touched upon. There are design option one where you can make houses with steel, cement, right? Uh, conventional. I'm talking about the early days. I'm talking about, I, I know you've evolved those design options over time. And I know that now there, is, now there is even indigenous design options yes. which people can afford. Yes. But I'm talking about a year into the quake versus now. I know, and you've already clarified your position that ERA is dynamic and has moved on. Yes. But why were such mistakes made in the early days, made in the primary phase when people were begging, no, we, people we, were writing to the newspapers, no. people were begging for indigenous options? No, you know, when the indigenous option which were available with the people at that point in time, and there were two basically, Bhattar and uh, Dhaji, these were not engineered. The solutions, uh, the, the kind of construction that was going on, this was not seismically resistant. And we, by way of uh, providing money, we were in no position to uh, provide 175,000 rupees to a house which was not according to a seismically resistant design. The bottom line criticism as far as the early phase of reconstruction and the instruction on reconstruction, that you have to use this, this, this material and that material was cement and steel based, RCC based construction, was that this is alien technology, the people are not used to it, they cannot afford it, it's too much money, ERA is not paying them enough, and by the way, ERA is doing all of this to please international donors versus working with the people. <laughs> why should you, this is why should you please the, the donors? No, no. Please understand this. You know, you take time to evolve, or uh, that's why we started, this was the first design, and it took us some time to get it approved uh, from, uh, to be a seismically resistant design. And then we started listening to what you are saying, where people are saying that, you know, at uh, the distant places, it's difficult to make this house, and that's why we came with the second design. And it, it doesn't really um, upset a beneficiary because he may not have started that house at that time, and when he got the second design, and we were, by the way, through our housing reconstruction centers, we were telling, we were considering it. We were considering. So anybody who wants to make a dhaji house, you know, could have waited, and people did wait. There are people who are starting Bhattar now in Badgram and, and Khoistan. Right from day one, why weren't the indigenous construction materials inducted into the reconstruction process? Because we, at that point in time, uh, uh, all our engineers said that this is not seismically resistant. And it has taken us a lot of effort to now go through all this design uh, parameters, shake table So your test. engineers were point blank wrong? To be honest, uh, for Bhattar, no. Uh, for uh, Bhattar, no. Dhaji has had fantastic Dhaji, yeah, feedback. Dhaji has, Dhaji has, Dhaji has got. Architects in Karachi for the last two years, Karachi based ones, because those were the ones we've talked to, were saying this two years ago in newspapers, that no. Dhaji should be inducted. Not to my knowledge. General, we have to take a short break here. We're talking to Lieutenant General Nadeem Ahmed of the Earthquake Reconstruction and Rehabilitation Authority on a special episode of Talk Back. Stay tuned. Welcome back to a special episode of Talk Back. Two years after the quake, we're talking to the Deputy Chairman of ERA, Lieutenant General Nadeem Ahmed. 
that there's people out of the net, General. There's people out of the net. Which people are out of the net? People. Anybody who suffered a damage is in the is in very much in the net. Okay, what about multiple families? Joint families were treated as one family. Yeah. But they are, according to certain NGOs, around 10%, 10% of families present in that area and the affected areas who live as a multiple family where there's separate chula, separate kitchens. Now, multiple families, 10%, were treated as one family, too, which is not fair, because they're I not one family, I they're not a joint family. I won't be able to give you or confirm you the figure of 10%, but uh, I will agree with you, and this has been a point uh, which we discussed, uh, I think, not once, not twice, maybe 100 times. Can we look at uh, the possibility of compensating family on what you call on a chula rather than on a chat? Mm -hmm. and, uh, with a lot of deliberation for very good reasons, it was decided that we will go and compensate for a chat, for a house, and not for the multiple families that are living inside. But don't you think people were out of the net? No, actually, you know, if you, uh, if you look at it... 10% uh, out of the net? Well, uh, that may be a downside of it, uh, but uh, otherwise it would have been misused to the other extent. Oh. There are, there are different ways of misusing it. It was misused you, you could, already. You could, no. I, I won't readily agree with you that it has been misused. Uh, NAB came up with a report that in just one, one district, Ugri district of the NWFP, and there were, interestingly, after this, there were no other NAB reports. In just one district, 50% of the check recipients were, were fake. Please, again, please understand this. This Ugri 50%. Is, uh, what happened was, and it's not era related, it was done. You know, first what we did was, and again going to back to your earlier point, the government had decided that we need to monetize the whole area because people had no money in their pockets. They were going to the hospitals, going, you know, they still wanted to buy things for themselves. And therefore the government paid something like 24 billion rupees as the first tranche of 25,000 rupees to each. At places it was given in cash, at places it was given in checks. And this was not done by ERA, this was done prior to ERA in the Federal Relief Commission days, not through FRC, but this money was transferred from the federal government to the provincial government, to their provincial, what they call, relief commissioners. So this money went through that. And in those things, since we were not too transparent, the whole thing was not organized, and there was a keenness to reach to every people in the shortest possible time, such cases have happened. I, I, I'm not saying it has not happened. But then you need to look at a bigger picture. When you are handling such a huge disaster, there are bound to be mistakes which, which have to be happened. You can't have a zero error center. And I can tell you with my experience of now, year and a half in ERA and six months in Federal Relief Commission, if you go for a zero error syndrome, your delivery will be zero. I can tell you today. 